To paraphrase Dorothy Parker, some people cannot pass up a bookshop, and I am definitely one of them. Why, hello there, friends. It's Emma here, the bookish princess. I recently spent a couple days in New York City, and of course, I had to get to as many bookshops as possible. In today's video, we are going to be visiting seven different incredible bookstores throughout Manhattan. Make sure you're subscribed because this is just the first of the New York videos. I'm also gonna do one with cafes, one from Koreatown, one of libraries. So definitely stay tuned for more to come. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, tell me about your favorite uh, Manhattan bookstores down in the comments. I know there were so many that I wanted to get to and didn't manage to make it to, but these seven were pretty incredible. So let's get into it. We're starting out strong at the Morgan Library and Museum. This is located at Madison Avenue and 36th Street. I am actually planning to do a separate video about the library and museum itself. It is completely gorgeous. This is JP Morgan's private collection, which is just absolutely over the top. The library is so swoon worthy. There is a ticket cost. It's $22 for adults. However, pro tip, they have free admission to the historic rooms on Tuesdays and Sundays from three to five. And then they also have a free Fridays program that's from five to seven every Friday, but definitely go online and check the reservations and hours um, if you're interested in that. Of course, there's a gift shop and a bookshop, and it is just as eclectic and delightful as the museum and library itself. If you visit the Morgan, which obviously you should, you'll learn about Bella da Costa Green. It sounds like she was quite the personality. She was an incredible librarian and really responsible for crafting the collection and getting all these incredible books. So it was fun to see some books about her in the gift shop. They actually have reproductions of some of the works from the collection, which are of course very expensive, but were so much fun to dream about buying and to look at in the case. Next up, we are heading down to the Flatiron and Madison Square area to visit the self-proclaimed most beautiful bookstore in New York. This is the Rizzoli Bookstore. I have to admit, it was pretty spectacular, that dark wood paneling and then the beautiful, um, unusual murals up above. They also just had a really great selection. It was so fun to browse and see what they had.
it be a New York City bookstore video if we didn't pay a visit to the Strand? This is, of course, an iconic store. They boast 18 miles of books and counting. Their main location is at Broadway and 12th Street. I have been here before, but it's always fun to stop by and just check out the selection, the classic tote bags, the stationery. Hey, these are like the ones you got me for I Christmas. Yeah, some of them are. I think part they're of the very same similar. No, I mean, they, yeah, they do tons of them. Oh, yeah, see, this is what I have as a tote bag. I love this tote bag so much. I use it all the time. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, you can even see the books in the window. Hmm, $15. Worth it? Oh, they have it, the cat one. Okay. Okay, this one is worth it. <laughs> wow, what's that? <laughs> you exist too much. That is a great title. We have entered the danger zone, AKA the stationary section. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, the Strand wins postcard selection. I kind of want to buy this <laughs> and cross out the word slay and write the word save. <laughs> Does not look like a fun old edition, writing the Washington. Okay, I think I'm gonna resist the books and just get a couple, couple little things. This is the one, the one that I recommend. I use this all the time. Yes, I feel like Becky should be here, because the last time I was here, Becky was with me. stopping in another bookshop just a couple um, stops up from the Strand. It's called Forbidden Planet. If you're a comic book fan, this would be a great place to come. They had tons of sci-fi books, comics collectibles, action figures, all that kind of stuff. I managed to make it out without buying the It's a Small World board game, but it was just fun to see what they had in stock. Next two bookstores are so unique and were such a treat to browse. It truly felt like visiting another country. We spent a fair bit of time in the Koreatown district of New York City and ate so many delicious things. I have a whole video coming about all the delicious things we ate in Koreatown, but of course I had to stop in the Korean bookstore. It's called Koryo Books and it is located on 32nd Street. Shout out to all my army out there. I'm a huge BTS fan. If you are a K-pop fan, this will be such a fun bookstore to visit because they had a huge, huge K-pop selection. Definitely not just BTS, um, but plenty of BTS, plenty of BT21, um, plenty of like, K-drama merch. This definitely made me want to get back to work and try to start learning Korean again. There's a readathon on booktube going on right now called K-tropathon, um, hosted by Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky in Space and some other wonderful booktubers. Um, so if you are a fan of K-pop and books, definitely make sure you go check that out. <laughs> Thank you.
next stop takes us to Bryant Park, where the spectacular New York Public Library is located. I did spend some time in there, some time in the Rose Reading Room, but I'm saving that for another video. Let's stay focused on the bookstores. On the other end of Bryant Park, opposite the library, is Books Kinokuniya. Apologies if I mispronounced that. This is a Japanese bookstore. It has three levels. The main level was mostly books in English. Upstairs was a huge selection of manga and anime merch, also a little cafe. Downstairs was really what blew my mind. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I love Disney World, I love going to Epcot, and there's a Japanese store there called Mitsukoshi. And the stationery selection at that Mitsukoshi store always blows my mind. The basement of this bookshop was like the stationary selection at Mitsukoshi on steroids. It was absolutely spectacular. I wanted one of everything. It was so difficult to be restrained. Our seventh and final bookshop on the list is McNally Jackson Books. I went to the Rockefeller Center location, which let's be perfectly honest, my brothers really wanted to go to the Nintendo store and McNally Jackson is literally right next door to Nintendo. So it was really fun. We got to hit up Nintendo, see the Pokemon merch, and then um, check out the books at McNally Jackson. I do not need another edition of Moby Dick, but these look kind of fun. <laughs> like four different, or no, more than four. How many editions of Moby Dick are there? One, two, three. You mean okay, Star just Trek four. First Star Trek First Contact, is that the name of that book? You know what? We are reading Mark Twain um, in my book club. I wonder if they've got Twain here. Is it just me or this is not alphabetically arranged? Melville. Oh, almost there. <laughs> of course, I can't tell if this is modern or classics or a mix. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's a very nice, Ooh, these look cool too. Oh, I like how just the brush is white. But see, what we're reading is, um, oh, here's some more esoteric stuff. We're reading the Joan of Arc, um, but I feel like Joan of Arc is a little too esoteric. You're probably not gonna find Joan of Arc. Um, and in fact, I do not see Joan of Arc. I love that we're here at McNally Jackson and there's a Rizzoli bookstore bag. I like it. <laughs> do you see this ball of pens? I'm totally gonna have to go see that one. <laughs> okay, this looks kind of awesome though. How fun. Oh my gosh, this is so dangerous. Look at how extensive this stationary section is. These are gorgeous, but I feel like I already spent my pen budget at the Japanese bookstore. Although, pro tip, we have some of the same pens and they were cheaper. Like, by $1.50 at the Japanese store. How much is it? $2. That is one of the smallest pencils. How would you um, sharpen it? With a smoking pencil. <laughs> yeah. That sounds so fun. Doesn't this look fun? On my bike, I am a geoglyphic do doodler, contouring a life without yet knowing its center. <laughs> That's quite something. What is in this? Oh, some cycling maps, cycling photos. Very intriguing. I 
hope you guys enjoyed this tour of seven incredible New York City bookshops. Do you have any bookstores that are atop your must visit list? Let me know down in the comments below. Definitely more New York City videos coming, so make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys again soon, and until then, stay bookish. Bye.